Yeah. She put it on. Put, put it, it on. on. Mom? Hey, boy, I'm sorry, I'm okay, sure. hey, fuck the kids. Yeah, mom. Uh, sorry, mom. I'm I'm recording right now. I'm recording on okay. on a show right now. Okay, okay, okay. Call me later. Okay. Hey, get over here, kids. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Careful Boys. We have with us Mr. Chris Sosa over there. Oh, Chris yeah. Sosa! Yeah. Have, cool jacket, bro. What the hell this is? Yeah. Uh, this. Wait, what does it say? Oh my god. <laughs> what does it say now? What does it say? It's it's fuck fuck Kinjas. Fuck oh. Kinjas. Did you get it off Alibaba? <laughs> what is Did it? you get off the site? Did you get off the Kinjas site? I got it, I got Wait, is that the Alibaba default thing? setting when you buy it? It already comes like that? Yeah, it came with this. Fuck Kinjas. I'm really Fuck Kinjas. That the lower cases aren't lower cases, they're just small caps. <laughs> and then there's really just a bigger letter. Well, that's it works, doesn't it? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Let me see. Let me see. Your app. Let me see the app. I'm gonna show you my app. You the fucking app that controls this. <laughs> it's top secret. <laughs> Anthony Lee wasn't my supposed to be here today. Phone. Hey, we luckily we have Anthony back with us again. Uh, what happened to you, dude? I totally legally tested negative for COVID this morning, which is why I'm here. Thank you. Wow, congrats. Fuck about that legal bullshit, dude. I told your ass too. I was like, who the fuck cares about this test? Do you have symptoms? Are you being a sneezy little bitch? If you're being a sneezy little bitch, stay home. Uh, minus Pretty the bitch, sure. I was sneezing. I don't even yeah. give a fuck That's about That's allergies, though. That's That's allergy. You can taste the cough? I can taste everything. I, I, it was very, this is my second time having COVID. I've gotten the booster vaccine. Oh, it's only your second or third. Oh, shit. Yeah, I thought you had second. more than that. No, no, no. You no, caught no. like six times. <laughs> that was you. <laughs> no, you caught like six times. I think no. you caught it like I four times. Six times people came here and said they got it from you. No, I think you caught four times before the vaccine and another seven times after the vaccine. Yeah. Wait, who's had it the That's most? That's not quick out of everybody here. Who's yeah, had it the most? I think Bart. How many times? Two, right? Wait, you had, it, you had it like a million times now? <laughs> <laughs> Two million. Well, like, I actually? technically had it once because I only tested like that one time that I got it. But I did get sick maybe like another five more but times. But that's just a cold. That could be a cold. <laughs> but but technically, it's not on paper. Technically, it's not COVID because you didn't test positive for COVID. It's yeah. a good job. So, yeah. Wait, Was it COVID yeah. symptoms? I never had COVID symptoms even when I had COVID. I could oh, taste right. everything the whole time. Sounds like you're bragging. Taste isn't the only thing. <laughs> well, then everything else is flu-like symptoms. There. I'm not gonna fucking appropriate the flu. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> you see how triggered everybody people gets People have been trying COVID? to fucking appropriate the flu since day one. That's fucked up. These symptoms are unique to it's the flu. problem? Yeah, stop saying like, oh, this is a like very like Asian adjacent or whatever. Asian <laughs> adjacent. <laughs> flu adjacent symptoms of COVID. Flu adjacent. Flu what if they call it the COVID flu? That'd be awesome. Dude, I'd like be more Kung truthful. Flu. There it is. I loved Kung Flu. Kung Flu was great. I know, but like, oh. yeah, we're all we're all pro Asians Kung Flu. He just kind of ruined that joke, dude. Yeah. Cause he got all butt hurt about it. Got fucking mad. You know, in retrospect, we could all look back at it and laugh. You know, it's, it was fun. At the Give it a little bit. I think it's too fresh because no one's talking about COVID still. No, I I actually COVID's had the over, opposite bro. reaction because yeah. when they first said Kung Flu, I was like, <laughs> and then everyone was like. All pissed, right? And I'm like, oh, oh shit, okay. Smith about it, huh? And now everyone's laughing about it. I'm like, fuck you. You know if you guys laughed when it was supposed to laugh. That's true. Yeah. You just got. You want to laugh when a joke is fresh. You don't fucking laugh when it's all old. Laugh two years later. Oh, yeah. The freshest 9/11 bits. The day after. <laughs> yeah. What was your fresh. best 9/11 bit? Oh, dude, I was just talking about how Flight 93 was like 93 million times cooler, <laughs> a movie. Yeah. Shit. Than I thought uh, Armageddon was. It was way better than Armageddon. Way better. To be fair, Flight 93 was actually a really powerful movie. That shit was lit. It was a good, it was good movie. movie. Armageddon's a good movie. And Nicolas Cage was fucking amazing. I felt it. like I was there. You know? I like it more than Independence Day for sure. Yeah. No. no, I like Our Independence Day. I like Independence Day. The second one sucks dick. Have we oh, seen? Oh, I didn't even know there was a second one. The second one. It was so bad. I don't even know what happened. Did Will dude. Smith punch another alien in the face? He wasn't even in it. No, he knew. He knew. He knew. Gold blooms and that was it. Chris Rock is not an alien. Can you no. Was Jazzy Jeff? He was in it. Yeah, he was. He was. As DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Not even oh, as. No. Ah! <laughs> my, mom's calling, my mom's calling me. Hold on. Let's listen. Yeah. Did she put her on. Put, put her it on. on. Mom? Hey, boy, I'm sorry. Good night. Okay, sure. Hey, fuck the kids. Yeah, mom. Uh, sorry, mom. I'm, I'm recording right now. I'm recording on, okay. on a show right now. Okay, okay, okay. Call me later. Okay. Hey, get over here, kids. <laughs> Get over here, Kendra! Now she thinks that you're in danger. He's Steve, have you not been around Asian parents? Now she uh, thinks you're in danger. There's stuff called respect, dog. Uh, when your parents call you, is it you always treated like an emergency? I well, the only thing uh, is, uh, I think like five years ago, I started being like, uh, what if they're calling because like somebody else got injured or something? Because yeah, yeah. damn, you guys are good sons. Yeah, he's a good. Son. It took me a month and a half to call my mom back. 
Oh, and I didn't even have to call man. her back. I caught her when she called me. <laughs> she's still in Japan? No, she's gonna meet me in Hawaii, and it's gonna be fucking awesome because my nephews are there, my brother's gonna be there. I haven't seen them in like 10 years. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Oh, man. That's She's gonna be there for like a whole story. month. Yeah, and, and my stepdad's, uh, I don't know if it's kids or some relatives gonna be there too, so I get to meet them. So it's gonna be pretty fun. You're not yeah. really connected with your fam. <laughs> just go. Connected That's enough, Chris. Chris, ask him about his dad. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. Yeah. Yeah. It's like super light. It's really light. I yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's bring it down, bro. <laughs> Don't do it, Chris. Do it. That laughs at all. Say, say, I'm your dad. Now give me physical affection. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> role play. Role play. Yeah. Fucking 300. Kick his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> so, so since five years ago, you started picking up your mom's phone call just kids any shit anything happens? Yeah, I get scared now, you know? They're just like older uh, now that like I don't live at home, my sister don't live at home. My sister also has like three kids now, so it's like her response time for anything like that is like, I can't expect. You, you know don't wait mean? for the double call? Because what I do with my mom is this. I go, I see her call, the minute it rings I just hang up like that. Yeah. And then I go like this, ah oh, fuck, she ringed again, so it's, it's, so it's a double double call. Mm -hmm. I pick it up and then it's fucking bullshit, so I'm like, I should be triple call next then, time. Remember how you also talk about like, on here you also talk about how your mom's like a boss? What do you mean? What do you mean? You're the one who talks about it. Unbreakable head? No, 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 like she's she's fucking I'm boss, right? Is that what you took from that? <laughs> is that a boss means to you? That's a okay. trait of bosses? Because we're talking about old Asian fragile people, right? Yeah. So I'm like, then if Anthony thinks his mom is gonna be like whack dead, then if my mom's a boss, she's more like whack, stay alive. Yeah, we, so we totally like, thought so that differently. Whack, <laughs> yeah, stay I, alive. I, you know, I just I just yeah, didn't process like it like that. Yeah, I'm just surprised. Uh, that just makes yeah. a lot of sense. It was only Bart that processed it that way, huh? So. No way. So. Huh. He's texting with his mom. That's really fucking funny. If you've ever seen his, he'll show you like yeah, yeah, text. for sure. It's just like all... a shitload of Chinese characters, and then him going okay. Yeah, it's so or good. Or like too long, didn't read. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Or the it's emoji like this. Me. Fucking bullshit. I just mean like when you're talking about how your, your dad's gonna try and move back in with your mom, your mom's like, all right, here's a list of rules. Brrr, yeah. Has like an understanding of the way things are. Yeah. That shit don't fly with my mom. I think when mom calls, you answer, you miss it, call right back. That's the code. Dad, he'd be all right. I'm gonna yeah, call him. Yeah. I'm gonna get back to him. My dad, it's a whole, like, the text threads with my dad is just pictures of him. This is what 55 looks like, son. This oh. is what it is. <laughs> You're like, damn, it looks my good. I will send a selfie of himself say, it ain't easy being me. And so this is my dad. He flexes on you? Straight up. That's all he does. He just likes like you. Want you he wants you to be like, wow, dad, you look so young for your age. Yeah, my dad, he'll send like, he has a, a like a group text with just me and my and my siblings and my pops will just, it's only him. We don't text oh like, we, we'll, we'll like, like, we'll just text pictures and be like, you know, uh, 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 there's not a mirror I don't like. That's, 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 that's so you guys amazing. text threads his Instagram account? You say what? You guys text thread is his Instagram account? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And you guys yeah. just like it? We just gotta like it, love it, looking good, pops. When yeah, you I start see. sending your own pics back. I should, but I, I think there's no out, like. Do one right now, dude. There's do one right now, right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Get a selfie, turn it around, get a selfie yeah. right now, yeah. send it to your pops. This is what big dicks look like. <laughs> take a picture of yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. your penis. Right here, hold on. There it is. Okay. You, you never so asked him, like, side of the room. what the yeah. fuck do you want me to say from that shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's That's true. true. There it is. Big dicks pop. Big dicks. <laughs> Big dicks pop. Like, like, you know, a little below average, you know, whatever. So, Big Chris, dicks having a dad that, like, faked his death, does that ever, does that ever make you think, your dad like, faked his death? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's Crazy a whole thing. Story, yeah. But does that ever make you had to be here? <laughs> in the future, like, if you're ever at his funeral, are you gonna be, like, going, where you at? Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you pulled this one off again, huh? Sequel, huh? <laughs> you don't have to tell the whole story, but what was the method of death? Real quick, okay, so he, uh, oh, the, the method of how he did it, a bullet hole to the head. He faked a bullet hole to the head. And put himself in a ditch, like, in yeah. underwear. It was on the news yeah. and everything. Yeah. And we did a JK News video about it before we met Chris. Yeah. And his dad wrote a book about it after he came back to life. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad wrote a book? Literally, Amazon yeah. Pro, cop it. Yeah. I walked on my own grave. It's yeah. That's <laughs> sick, dude. Yeah. Isn't that tight? So hard. Is him and OJ <laughs> he's friends or what? He's like, we think of that. <laughs> I walked on my own grave. <laughs> Was it a, I can't remember if it was a plan, he's like, well obviously it was a plan, but if he was like, I plan on one day mining the fuck out of this for, for content. Oh, no, 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 the, the, because Why? the story got so big, 
it made him get bigger. He was like, oh, this is this is this is a story. This is compelling. And it's like, like already my dad already loves himself. So the fact that this went like worldwide, the story went, you know, big. He's calling me, giving me all his credits. Like, son, HBO, Bobby. I'm gonna be on HBO. Bobby. <laughs> Give me a whole thing. ABC, Dateline, it's all. He's been on all these networks, bro. <laughs> That's I, tight. Wow. Like, yeah, for real. He's That's been he has more credits than I do. I've been chasing my dream for like nine years. He fakes a death. Oh, He's He's is up. he um Creative does he have book. to work anymore or he just makes so much money from the book stuff? No, he works, bro. He works. He's a he's a uh he's been working at at FedEx for like over 30 years, like 35, 37 years. You rub oh, that wow. in his face? Yeah, he wow. yeah. did like an HBO <laughs> deal, <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking that in his face. <laughs> the back yeah. of the trucks and that's shit. That's what Bart thinks of F a FedEx drivers, yeah, okay? Yeah. <laughs> they make a good living, okay? So, no, that's he's what he that, thinks. He's that guy. He's that he's that guy there. He trained like he went from like truck driving now he trains. Uh uh he's he's a trainer now, but he's like the sensei there oh, yeah. training like oh, FedEx sensei? Yeah, good FedEx buddy. sensei. But I did I did bring up the fact that he was a professional boxer and now he's a professional boxer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That sunk in, that sunk in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Today's video is brought to you by Babbel. You know, for all you uh, incels out there that are trying to talk to chicks, mm -hmm. one of the easiest way to break the ice is to speak something that people don't expect you to speak. That's so right. for example, when you're a white guy and you're able to go up to like an Asian girl and go, Ni hao, and you say all this Chinese shit, the Asian chick's like, what? That's crazy. Or they could be like, what? I'm Korean. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> or if you're Asian and you can speak Italian or German, you know, sense of humor and being able to connect with different cultures. Guten Tag. It's a very easy way to break the ice. And you know what's an easy way to learn? Babel. That's right, baby. With 10 minute lessons, it takes the freaking tedious, boring learning out of the brain and into the brain is a real easy, simple way. Yeah, and Babbel got speech recognition technology so that you actually get help pronouncing and enunciating the words the right way. And they got 14 different languages that you can choose from. So that means that's 14 whole different countries you can flirt in. Ooh, and they got a 20 day money back guarantee. So if you're trying to learn another language and if you're not learning or you're like, this doesn't work, my brain doesn't operate this way, you can get your money back within 20 days. Oh yeah. Right now, you get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babble.com slash off the record. That's babble.com slash off the record for up to 55% off your subscription. Babel, language for life. Bro, I saw my dad's I saw my dad's box rec, which is like any boxer you ever want to, like professional boxer you want to know about, you go to box rec and find other stuff. I saw my dad's box rec. His last fight, bro, was a TKO. He lost TKO. And it says in parentheses, Sosa knocked out of ring. Oh, he got Ouch. Oh, shit. Ouchies. Oh, and I told ring. my I called my pops, bro. Yeah. I'm like, yo. You're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I brought it up to him. You have to put that information. It's not that deep. Yeah, so, yo, I, I look, and that shouldn't be like this was 35, it, bitch. It, it this, <laughs> <laughs> this is like it said like it said like uh, 1985, and I I I wow. said that to him. And like he called me right away. No, nah, man, that's some bullshit. I'm like that. This was in '85, but he still is like, nah, 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 nah. You that's think not how it went down? That's what honestly. That was his last nah, fight. Nah, nah, I. Faked the knockout too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I jumped yeah, off the ring. I jumped dog. off the ring yep. and I faked it. I have yep. another book for that. And one. put a bullet hole in my head. <laughs> <laughs> Someone shot me yeah, outside the ring. Gunshot. It was the prequel. Someone sniped him. Yeah, that was a soft spot. Man, though. I got him. I got him. That was something. But you know, he, he broke it down to me. I said, "All right." He said, "My foot, my back foot." So you know, when you're leaning back on the ropes, it slipped out. Yeah, explain it. Like, oh. Yeah, he he knew exactly like yeah. every move. I was like, "Wow, that so really." When you just fall out of the ring like that. It's a loss, like automatic. No, like I mean, no, no, no. It was a, it was a knockout. He said that when he got like got back up, he was he was so like 
dazed, like, uh, you know, like out of it. Yeah. I'm like, well, pops, that that's like a knockout. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can fall and tremble and kind of get up and he's like, I got up too fast. I was like, yeah. Hey, that does happen. That does happen. No, does. bro, but when I was I just like, here all day and I yeah. stand up too fast. Ooh, man, Ooh, that's like a TKO. Yeah. yeah. Dang, same <laughs> thing. Out of ring, out of ring. <laughs> I it makes sense, bro. You see, see. You should tell him that you, you told that story about what a little bitch your dad is in front of a show with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people watching. Well, the show, the show also, the show, so just told his story about you know his story and you know the fake his death. He got yeah. his book. Did he watch the JK News that we did? Of course. Yeah, oh, he sent cool. it to me. That he didn't know oh, that really? I already. Knew. Yeah, he was like, check out. The, you know when when it happened. Everything. Every time his story's out, he's on it more That's than tired. anybody. I pull up box rec real quick. Yeah. Box rec. Exactly. It's there, man. Is it's it there. better? I guess to his ego, if he got knocked out in the ring, the versus out of the ring. Because to me, I'm like, if you got knocked out, you got knocked out. But to him, it's like. Oh no! I wasn't out of the ring. I got knocked out in the ring. <laughs> I don't know, man. I just, I just know, I just know he, he, he. Uh, you know, he told me, he told me what's up. He told me what it is, and that's still, that's still my pop disclaimer. Yeah. He's still a superhero to me. All right, yeah. that's yeah. my guy. We're talking but shit. I had to, but I had to use your imagination. Now. I had to be like, hey, yo, pops. I, I, they, they, they didn't have to put the parentheses there, but it's there. And Are it's, your favorite superheroes guys who get fucking knocked out? <sighs> out of the ring. <laughs> what's your dad's first name? Uh, uh Ramon. R A M O N. Trying to think of a superhero who gets like laid out. That sounds like a professional wrestler. Yeah. Like Razor Ramon. Yeah. What's what's his boxing record? Oh, that's that looks just like you. Let me see. Is that Ramon? He's like, wait, that's not my dad. Oh wow. Dude, that's uncanny. He looks he looks different now. That's my pops, man. I love him, man. What what was his record? I don't know. It says four two and zero. Yeah. Hey. One knockout. Yeah, yeah. One knockout yeah. on the other. Eye. So he had four. Is that? Four is it by the last two fights for four wins, losses. two losses? Yeah. And what's oh? No draws. draws no draws. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then one is an extra one yeah. outside the ring. Nineteen eighty-seven. One four, two, oh, one. Knocked out of the ring in third. In third, uh, third round. round. Yeah. It actually happens though. People yeah. get knocked out of the ring. Yeah. And sometimes they stop the fight because the guys will get hurt when they fall off the ring. He told, he told me straight up though. He said he said that he wasn't uh, he wasn't prepared. He wasn't even like uh, he was kind of like that fight. He did say honestly, I wasn't even like prepared for like you know. Did he say? Uh, knocked Chilly. out of the ring with foldable table and chair. <laughs> <laughs> TLC match. Should we uh, should we hire somebody uh, on Fiverr to like delete the parentheses like, off his record? Oh, that. He's yeah. like, they don't even. That's not even how it went. It's not even. That don't even. Like, right. Yeah, who did? We gotta figure out who wrote that in the eighties. Yeah. Who was the fucker behind that dude? Yeah. Yeah. And then we gotta ask them why. Cause the internet, like, like I mean, they had uh, when was the, the internet came out. For the consumers, I feel like in the '90s, basically. AOL, so, so that yeah. was on paper first. So whenever it came, whenever oh, it came to, from the internet, they were like, well, then "Make sure we put that in." <laughs> yeah, they didn't have to. They didn't, really didn't like, have to check. There was a boxer that got knocked out recently, yeah, and he fell out the ring. Uh -huh. Can you look it up and yeah, see if they put it in there? Vince Mick McMahon. M I C K Conlon. C O O N L A N. Why don't we really... just contact the guy who knocked your dad out and just get the full story? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's put, put this other guy. Up hell, <laughs> it's the face, you know what I'm saying? Guy some book. We'll see how that guy looks at 55. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm let's say if they do a rematch. Yeah. What if he looks incredible? Damn. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. oh, that would he kill my dad. He works at UPS, too. Yeah, he works at UPS. He owns it. I'm a professional boxer, huh? <laughs> I'm the oh, biggest man. boxer. Do FedEx guys go, man, UPS, that'd be so sick. <laughs> That's they, their they dream. You have to sign up for an account, so I'm like, what? Uh, what the thing. fuck is this? Oh, you, gotta pay what you get, you get one, this? and we use it on his dad. Oh. <laughs> we probably have like 60 accounts now, just as who Americans. signs up for this fucking it's website, crazy. dude? That's ridiculous. Some of my favorite <laughs> fighters have gotten on. Now we hate it. Yeah, yeah. this is ridiculous. Yeah, so it, it happens. Yeah, man. Is it like boom? Hits the ground, starts rolling under the ropes. That never happened to you? Nah. So one of my favorite fighters, and it's a really epic fight, it's uh, between Quentin Jackson and Vanderlei Silva. This is uh, back in Pride oh, in yeah, Japan. Right. Vanderlei Silva gets him in like a tie clinch. He knees him in the face, and then on his way back, he lets go, and Quentin Jackson literally just flies out the Like nose the ropes. Yeah. Whoa. And he was just out, and he's like his body's like bouncing on the ropes and shit like that. So it happens to like when the best you, of the best, when man. When you make sports bets on fights, 
is that in the thing where you're like, it could be. gets knocked out, out of the ring? Gets knocked out of the ring. That must, be, that must be like picking zero on a fucking roulette oh, table. That's yeah. probably a parlay thing. That's I bet you it's, it's in there. Seven thousand. Or dropped, yo. Because I mean, he knows how much, you know, we, we love boxing. You know how much I love, you know, how what, how he gets down. I was just like, damn. Because, you know, he, he was a whole thing of why I'm not a professional boxer. He was like, you know, protecting me. And like, well, you know, you do so much. Why would you even want to be a boxer? You, you're so talented, all this stuff. And I saw that, I was like, damn, I wonder if like his fear were put on to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, not uh, wanting to, you know what I mean? You should just drop your dreams and start boxing. Yeah, oh man, I, yeah, I mean, I always, I think about it that Fuck yeah. that, don't do it. I don't had that, it. yeah, see, since that whole thing. But I think being an influencer and then a boxer it has proven that that's, there's more money. That's the that. new model. But well, yeah. Jake just made like 40 yeah. mil True. or some shit. True. Would you be down to jump more into that? Like, there's one happening this weekend that Austin McBroom dude, he's oh, fighting yeah. something. Like, there's literally like a, uh, as many regular boxing matches, there's as, as many influencer boxing matches. I would matches. be open to it, bro, 100%. <laughs> I wanna, like, I, I thought about, like, uh, uh, like, Justin Bieber. Yeah. Cause it has to be big. I wanna fight somebody like Justin Bieber or Chris Brown. Wow. Jay you got Holland. You don't wanna yeah. fight Chris Brown, dude. Yeah, yeah he knows how to beat up a lot of girls. A dude you should yeah. just fight Usher, bro. That would be tight. You fight Usher? No, bro. Oh, no, shit. So. That, that would be tight. Dominican Usher versus Usher. Chris Brown's really smart about picking his opponents. That's would you true. like to Would you like to read out Nick's official fight record? Dude. Oh, Can shit. Can I read it? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even get my first win, dude. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's a zero and one. Dang. Oh. And, and zero ties. I sh I'm actually a 500 fighter, so watch your fucking mouth, okay? Hey, dude, no, wait, I broke hey, even. Hey, bro, no, I wait, broke way, to rep, way to rep the fucking flag there, dude. Yo, Nick. Why? Oh. Somebody hates what's you your here. Real, what's your I, real record? I told you I quit like, for a reason. In the first minute. <laughs> I told you I'm a failed fighter. Dude, yeah. Here's my favorite part. Career disclosed earnings, zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> negative dollars. It should be negative. He's in bro. debt. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm in debt because I tried fighting. How come it only has <laughs> one of your fights? Don't because, you have like four or five of them? Yeah, because you know, this is all nonsense too, bro. Because you don't have to sign up for an account. Dude, when this shit pulled up right on me and Rob were like, oh shit. Yeah, dude. I'm not even 5'8". That's bullshit. I'm 5'7", dude. It says it right here. 5'7". At least that's a win for me. Yeah. I'm not even 5'8". He sees his ears are fake. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. I told you that confidence. Those ears for nothing, bro. Take those babies off. Take those ears, bro. Oh, man. Just pop them off. Trade ears with me, dog. That's really solid. No, I, picked, I picked a very obscure website. That's not the no, first result. Website. You should it go is. by that nickname. It says not available. <laughs> <laughs> Nick not available. <laughs> Nick not available. Uh, Height five eight. Reach not available. It's like you can't reach him. Yeah, reach him. Uh, My arms are not long enough to be recorded. Zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> it's so mean. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess game getting ruthless, knocked out man. the ring isn't that bad. If you, oh, if you lose, you, you're, you give people ammo to roast you for life. Yeah. yeah. Click that. And they never even been in your shoes to oh, go to battle to begin oh, with, but you just gave them the ammo to roast yeah. you for fucking life. Hey, where's Bart's thing that he just showed up to and the guy? Bart has a <laughs> has a better track record than Nick, and Bart's, ne Bart's never fought. Where's a fucking <laughs> metal? A guy named Nick Ivan Velasquez? Yeah, I beat a guy like that. Mm. He like wasn't that, Velasquez, dude. He wasn't even a real guy. Honestly, Bart, Bart's a jiu-jitsu champion, yeah, yeah, dude. That He's one fight I won, I personally think it was an early stoppage. I think the ref stopped it a little too soon. Yeah, at the one minute twenty three second mark in the first round. Yeah, and that guy started throwing punches at me, and I was like, "This guy trying to knock me out." I was like, "What the fuck?" I remember thinking that. Whoa. Yeah, dude. Says you're five eight in this website too. I guess I'm five eight. Wow. <laughs> One hundred and seventy four centimeters. But then this, <laughs> if you're wondering. <laughs> This same website also says you haven't won or lost any. <laughs> well, this one that says that you got a loss to Eric in the third round at two minutes. I'll fight that guy again. Dude. In parentheses, a unanimous decision from the judges. Yeah. I should have, I honestly, low key, think I should have won that fight too, but hey, it is what it is. I wish you were so insecure about it that you actually tracked that guy down and you had a camera crew film you just kick his ass in public and jump him. <laughs> is that a like, revenge fight on the street? Is that going to be the new Steve? The most non threatening photo of you as your pro. What a hiding uh, kid shirt. Oh, wow. With a Heineken shirt. Hand on the hip, that's my signature it thing. It says you have one fight, <laughs> one win and one loss. Dude, if, you, if you're gonna get matched up to fight against a guy like that, Dude, you're exactly. gonna be like, I'm gonna uh, kick this guy's like, fucking whoa, ass. Whoa. Kick his hiney. Uh, I'm licking my fucking. I think my career earnings are going up. <laughs> <laughs>